Yo, my beautiful people. Women sound like rapper, crapper, but my beautiful people. All right, here we go again. YouTube, it's your boy DJ Easy. You don't know you got eat with sound. We there again, and today we're gonna do a, a, a video, a tutorial on gain structure. Because may I try to forget this on setup? Because if it's one thing I don't like is hearing people say yo unity and this and that and blah and man come on everything don't, don't have to be set at unity that don't make no sense you see me so what you're saying is if your input from your main source isn't coming in correctly by setting the next piece of equipment down the line at unity that i go carry it it don't make no sense. Alright. I want to give a quick shout out to Maurice. My general that. You see me I say? Uncle Snags. There was also another guy who the name I try to remember. He just contacted me. You know what I mean? And, and we chopped it up for a minute and very controversial um topics that he had to to say to me and and some of his some of his um arguments then you know what i mean some of the arguments we had on the on about about sound system we realized say yo we can deal with this one on a level it is sometimes difficult when you are trying to teach a man a thing and trust me i'm not i'm not the teacher but it is sometimes difficult when you are trying to teach a man a thing and you have to bring him from ground zero you see me i say because sometimes when you bring the man in from ground zero it's like you get there and they still not get it like man you have to get this bro you see me i say because it is not that hard you know difficult Follow me, I say. So, today we're gonna do a tutorial on gain structure. Seeing, so we just get get the machine up and running. You see me? One of the one of the things that we talked about the other day upon the channel, me and this guy, well, on the phone, was something that I like to say. And it, it, it has been always been my, my statement. No input, high output. You cannot come in high and go out higher. You see me? Let's put it this way. If your input is distorted, expect your output to be distorted. It is that simple. So if your input is clean, and the reason why we say low input, high output, is because the lower you're going in, is the cleaner that audio quality is going to be. You understand? Because the lights on these equipment, and I get the understanding that a lot of these guys out here, they like to see the lights flashing. Me love the light. But hell, if you can do without the light, to, if, if I could substitute the light for quality, me don't want to see no light. Me rather hear it. You see me? I rather hear the quality outside and imagine the lights on my head. <laughs> you follow me, I say. So we were talking, talking about um, audio equipment, and he mentioned some of the stuff that he had. You know what I mean? We chopped it up for a minute, and um, he said to me, "Low in, high out." I'm gonna say, "Yo, listen, my man. If you say it better than that, I don't, I don't know. 
I don't know how to say it any better than that. You see me? I say, let's put it this way: clean input. You know what I mean? Gives a clean output. Let's let's not let's just put it that way. All right. So we there are now today, and as I promised, I was gonna do a video on camera blur. Anyway, as I promised, I was gonna do a video on um, gain structure. So let's get something cranking. Let's get something cranking, and. Um, See what we can. No two one play no. No two one play no. Vocal in no a cars. When I don't know anything set already. So I'm gonna find a rhythm for play. And then we're gonna get right into this thing. Long time. I'm gonna touch that virtual. Yeah. So alright. Let me select a rhythm. And then we're gonna get into the tutorial because we realize say, a lot of the general them out there this is one part that they're struggling with and if you struggle with the front part you are gonna struggle with the middle part and you are gonna struggle with the end we can't me not know way if you say it if you struggle with the, with the beginning it's hard for you to pick up. You know what I mean? Because if your output has come out, they started, bro. You come out of your console and go in your, in your crossover. And the console they started. Don't expect the crossover to take that they started signal and clean it up. It just no not None of that not happen. It not happen. It don't work. It doesn't work like that. You see me? So. Let me find a one rhythm. So I say, when you not going away. So I say, the general there. You see me? And we are going to do what you want, charge. We're going to do a quick tutorial on gain structure. Quick, quick, quick. In. I'm gonna get the charger. I probably could have done it without charging the battery. Trouble. Where are they? Eh? Eh? I'm gonna see it. Trouble not left me nowhere. Maybe it's either. Everyone will go trouble today. Alright. Charger in hand. And. We're gonna get the laptop plugged in. See me? Oh yeah. If we make sure we're gonna run out of juice now we're down the road. Alright. All right, we are going to track the Joe Fraser with him. See that now? See machine there? See machine there? All right. The first thing you want to do is what I say? The first thing you want to do is turn up your master. For me, well, my master there are zero. I'm, and, and I'm going to show you why my master is at zero whenever I get this thing done. But the first thing you want to do is go. Daddy! I prefer to go about Daddy. this. Uh. Yes, Dev? Don't walk. No, give me a second. I'm doing something right now. Okay. That's the first thing you, you guys want to do. Set your master. Yeah. See there? Uh -huh. So I'm about to night, two o'clock. You know what I mean? Then, I'm not super young. 
You play your track. You trim. Right here. Is what controls that. Your trim. <laughs> your trim controls this. See? Your truck plane. You, you, you bring your slider all the way up. See? Then you go to your trim. And you want to try to get what you want to try to do is get your display light to go right up to the zero or flashing in at the orange just like that see me you can go with the trim just a little bit more like that see me next thing you do is you come over here so and look at this i'm almost dead unity right there so almost dead unity so may i say no if and when you guys come over to the main out and you realize say it is above unity or too low all you have to do can see it there now See that? That's all the way up. I'm still not reach the red. Which? Which though? If you guys the, the red doesn't mean it's dangerous. It doesn't mean it's dangerous. Let me show you something. This right here. that right there is dangerous because you're going up to the red and you're not coming off that's when it gets dangerous see me all right that is cool that is doable see me but the cleanest you're gonna ever get your audio output To sound. What's up with my my VDJ right now? Let me close it down and probably use Serato. Every time I don't use this thing for a second, it bugs. All right, the cleanest you're gonna get your audio quality out of your controller for sound is when you get the line at zero. And you get the mean at zero they can be above just a little bit flashing in the orange but that's when you're gonna get it the cleanest you know what i mean all right so make we go see right away there make we find back the track so me i say i'll go play the track and get it going again. Find about the truck. All right, see that now? You're gonna put back that right there, so I'm gonna go come down with the trim. Look at that. Right there, so. You can even come down a little bit more and look at this 
right another zero that's where you want your control set up no if when you guys are playing you see me this you're never ever gonna touch this again as soon as as long as you get done doing all of this you never need to touch the master again see that is done that right there so your two lines them whichever two line you know i use all the way up all the way up there is what i say now if and when you guys are playing and a truck comes on that is lower or higher than the other this is what you use you use the trim if you bring it back either in the unity wanna like it or a flash up in a two or wherever on the, on, the, on the desired but let me show you what you don't want to do let me show you what you don't want to do what you don't want to do gentlemen is this first you don't want to do that first and have your trim so far and your main volume done no main volume for over trim trim not for over the volume see me it is better off if you have your main volume over your trim this means your line is coming in low and your master is doing is controlling the output of that line you understand watch me now watch me now the one thing you don't want to do is this and check this out everything you saw the eq section in the unity it is best to go out smooth and level instead of tweaking them here it is best to go out you don't need to mess with the equalizer on the line when you guys need to mess with tuning as it pertains to the output of the whole sound going towards the speaker it should be down here not up here you understand so everything will come out straight forward as if you would plug into a dvd player or a small radio with a headphone output that's how you want your lines to be just flowing flat you know what you know what a tweak no equalizer upon your line them unnecessary you do that and you're gonna find say if you tweet at the so and you mid the so you're gonna find say you're bringing a whole lot more high end and low end to the equipment and the equipment cannot find the mids down here because you're not feeding the equipment up yourself with no mids if you do this gentlemen you're gonna find vice versa your equipment down here is not picking up enough high signal the treble and it's not picking up enough low signal it has way too much of this and you're gonna find say your eye range a squeal you don't want that so may i say so avoid doing that all right so we're going back to free flow see me all right one thing that you don't want to do is that you don't want to do that if you notice that right there that trim right there i come from all the way up which part the main was no if the trim was all the way around like around a quarter when the main was at two o'clock what will happen to the main signal if you bring it back up this one see that you don't want to see all of this on your control distortion is what you're getting right there see me because 
All right. Let's say we did tweak my equalization settings section on the line. Because when you do that, you know, you'll get more output coming into your trim, you know. See? Watch. Just for shits. Watch. Excuse my language. See it? See it? We can turn the trim down to halfway. Daddy. And it's still all the way up. Daddy. Yeah, Dev. Can I have my iPad? No. Then we we'll like to have my iPad. Later. And don't give me that attitude. Well, I done that Do for not me, Father. give me the attitude. Got it? Okay. Thank you. All right. So, the trim is at unity, but all of these are up. So, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. boom. See what happened when we turn down them there? So, these, the, the equalization section on the line helps to, 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 to add volume to the line. All right, leave it right there. If you trim, is all the way turned out. This distortion that you're now getting, even if even if your line output was doing, your master output is doing this, it's it would still be distorted because you're picking up this signal from here, trying to send it out through your main. You see me? What we need to do, gentlemen, is vice versa the thing. And give you the clarity over here and then use your main output to bring that quality and clear signal out of your mixer and that it right there is what you need to get coming out of your mixer see me okay let's go down here to the amp and the sound Turn on all amps. The amps then are not going with nothing right now. So let me make him stay there so. Let me make him stay there so. I think I'm gonna go and get a contact clean and tell you a long time if we do it. <laughs> That's the machine. Gentlemen and ladies, cast on ladies, subscribe to the channel too. So ladies and gents, you are going on my beautiful people. Your head unit, your control, this is what you want to work on first before you do anything going down the line with the sound. You want to get your control audio set up first. If you don't have clean consistency on your control, your mixer, you won't have clean audio coming out. Because watch this. See the clip light them are coming from my drive rack a lot of people are afraid of those lights dev devlin
Come here, man. Yeah. What are you doing? No, I'm about to come check you in a minute, so make sure. Okay. Okay. A lot of guys are afraid of having the clip lights doing their thing. And let me tell you what that means right there. Because everybody I try to get the light, they forgot a unity or, or whatever. I hate that argument right there. You know, like that statement there. This is what you need to get the, the, the quality out of. Not that. When you start, let me start from here. Let me start from here. Let me turn the amplifiers down. All right. When you start from the top, you see me? When you start from here and you're getting this, you see me? When me get that and go around to my mixer, see me? On my two lines, that's what I'm getting. And these right here, no, they're no unity. They all do be up in the sky. See me? And me do the same thing. What me do? Pan the mixer. I put my control to this. Me use the trim. To catch. The gain structure back. You understand? And then over here. Because if you're not getting this in a gentleman. Watch me. If you're not getting this in a. You're going to end up pushing your main volume. Way far up. In order to forget this. You see me? I see where a lot of people. Not getting their clip lights coming on. So therefore they don't know. The amount of signal coming into the line. And then. You have the, the sliders. Halfway down there. You see me I say? You're hiding the signal from, 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 from the output. You're hiding the line signal. From your main out. You see what I say? Now when you do that, you end up having to do this. Forget that signal out. Check this out. Bam. Them two lines are up there, so. You get your good clip. It not steady. Watch the difference. See it? Now if I should have brought this main volume all the way up, Mudana get this guy up here so and he would have steady. I'm not gonna even try to bring you in into into these lines here on my mixer because these right here these are designated to control this channel and these two are designated to control this channel. So if I push these a little bit higher, I get more out of the main output before me even reach that far. Follow me, I say? That's all I do on my mixer. No, when you set up your mixer like this, gentlemen, when you set up your mixer like this with the keys all the way up there, in a dance, because my controller, Everybody don't know. Go right out into my mixer. My line mixer. When you set up your control like this. Your inner dance and a man come. If you play upon your sound. You give him a line or two. Bam. You don't need to be fiddling and daddling and, and whatever. With all of that. Boom you give him a line. If his control. Is too high. You use the two trims and bring him down if his control is too low you use the trims and bring him up you set him where him there where you need him because of your son you need to protect the investment protect your investment see so you set his output him setting output panning control 
and you set your line. When you set your line, we just know you had already set most sound man of it, and everybody with me talk to me try to make them know say it's a smart way to go. The compressor, and I I I, I did compressor on the channel already. You know me I say, so when you don't know the part they go. So from my mixer come to my compressor, which means let me get something plain. From my mixer come to my compressor. See? Alright, from my mixer, come to my compressor. See the compressor there? These red lights on the opposite side of the green and all of that. Anytime you, alright, let's go here first. Whenever you come out of your mixer, come to your compressor. Your output is already coming out clean from your control. Go into your mixer, your output is coming out clean. Every time you jump into another equipment, you want to try to, you know the output that come out clean, you want to try to, to have it going up to your clip or you keep it down in the orange, the green, just like we had discussed upstairs. You don't want to try, you know what I mean? You don't want to get too much of, 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 of your, your red light coming in and get distortion. Because if you get distortion coming in, if you're getting distortion coming in, you're gonna get distortion coming out. So this is what my compressor is doing after my come out and my mixer coming towards my compressor. That is the signal. Let me see if I can find this little. Alright, input. That is the signal coming out of my compressor. And that is the signal coming into my compressor. However though, on this side, where you see the red lights come on, whenever you hit that, you see it? Whenever you hit that knock, and you see the red lights come on, check on the compressor. I see if we're not find say these red lights right here are the gain reduction. Is that what I say? So when these lights come on, what the compressor is doing is reducing the gain and steadying that input coming into the compressor. It will slightly go above. Let's say you want 10 decibels coming out. Or whatever it will slightly go above that but the more you turn let me show you let me show you guys the more I turn my input on my mixer up is the more the gain reduction on my compressor come in see me Get back the truck. See that? If we go up further with it, more reduction, more gain reduction. Come on. So it allows. And if you check the mid verb, you will realize say, my boost the gain on the compressor. 
and pan the mix around the back. But my gain on my midverb is still right up under the, the red. It now go too far in it. So you're gonna find so you get a bit more juice coming out, but not too much to damage anything. Is what I say? And that's what your compressor does. Alright, now go go. Set him right there so check the mid verb right back same place where it was you don't get much higher when you set your compressor correctly what it does when you start push too much output towards the compressor Gear reduction come in and then this, 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 the output is going to start sounding distorted coming out of your speaker. It's going to start sound ugly. Because now you overdrive the equipment. Is what I say? So you don't need to worry about gentlemen who don't need to worry about then like their command. When you see them like their command and then like their command and then like their command. It just means my compressor is at warm orange it warm you know reach up in a red in a hot yet that's all it means when you reach up in a red you get full potential of what the compressor can do don't you so same thing you get the full potential of what the the, the drive rack can do it, it is not distorted don't be afraid of having your clip light come in that's just giving you your, your maximum output going towards your amplifier. You see me? Now, if you're getting this coming out of your drive rack, when you reach down your so now, when you reach down your so now, You don't have to go very far. When you reach down the sun now, you don't have to go very far on your amplifier. Alright, I'm gonna play this line. We're not no 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 hook up in <coughs> And look. That's full. That's my amplifiers. That's my amplifier doing its full thing right there. Because if the amplifier was a 1500 watt, it would be giving me 750 then when you see the light come in. You see what I say? When you don't get these lights in your equipment, now you're forced to do this. Turn your amplifier all the way out, forget that. So may I say, cause check this. We can burn that on drive anytime. Cause I want on drive me around there. It's a small on drive. We can burn it anytime. All me have to do, I come halfway. So when you get this, you don't have to do this simple so don't be afraid of the clip lights coming in as long as you get your head unit clean and the rest of your equipment them clean coming down don't be afraid of this this no need for being a unity no more when people when man a man a talk about oh unity and zero and, and blah 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 this this is what needs to be in a unity see it there see it there this is where you get the best out of your control. That's where you get the cleanest at the highest output out of your control. If you go higher than this, the, the higher you go, the more distortion you go into. Is what I mean, I say? All right. Boom, boom, boom.
Let me clarify myself, you know. Let me clarify myself. The reason why when you watch my channel on the sea my line um volume deso is because me can visualize it and say yo it always the deso so when the next when the next side come in me know say me either have to turn up a little bit if you go in at the red or turn it down a little bit using the trim is it me I say? But on this side, my main no, no come all the way up this anymore. It's there in a unity and look which part is there. So me I say? So no need to figure out how to get to no control properly configured as it pertains to as it pertains to a good audio output when you need to get on a control properly configured that's what I say alright with that being said I think we conclude the lesson here I think we conclude today's video you see me let me just let me just run the rhythm I'll show you what I've been trying to say for the longest while I'm here trying to tell a lot of the gentlemen them and the female them are right. This This means you're getting the most out of your line without the signal being distorted. See me? This means you're gone in a distortion it doesn't mean you're not play good well yes you're not play good it doesn't mean you're in, you're in a it doesn't mean say yo the sound look good and really it means you're going into distortion see me if you're right there Really clipping into the red from time to time, like that. That ain't bad. You're getting your full potential. See me? If you're getting this, especially for the man, them will turn up them EQ on the line. You're not doing good. It now go sound good no matter what your tune. Done yes, sir. Follow me? Alright. Me done. Should I go any further? Can watch this now. Watch this now. When you realize me, me, me drive rack I do the same thing. Even though me turn up everything up there, sir. Because I'm a compressor. When you hear the difference of the arm. You hear the difference of the on signal? Alright. Catch this now. Catch this now. I'm going to turn down back. My equalizer settings. I'm going to turn this guy back. Right there so. I'm going to turn this guy. Right there so. I'm going like to have him all the time. And we are going to go forward. And see it? Same thing you might do you know. But check this out. You hear the difference? Friends, it is that simple. It is that simple. Configure your mixer before you tune the sound. You can't have the head of the stream dirty and expect the body of the stream to be clean. 
simple. You know what I mean? Yo, do the thing and do the right thing. Click the bell, click the notification bell. Make sure so you stay tuned. Um, like the video, them share the video, them subscribe. You know what I mean? Blow up the notification, them brother. Ask questions. You know what I mean? If you don't need answers, and, and I do have the answer because I don't have all the answers. But if you don't, if you don't have questions, you want to run by me and I do have the answers, I don't have the answers. Follow me, I say. So, I eat with this and I go and juggle some tune in a day party. You see me, I say? Yeah, man, you don't go and stay tuned and go and do the right thing, man. Look more.